<sighs> Hi everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing and I'm here to do a reading for all of my cancers for the month of November. Let's clear out the energy for our cancers and let's see what we see. Okay, so Cancer, what I'm getting from the start is um, there's a giant circle and there's lots of colors inside of the circle. Uh, it looks like, um, it looks sort of like this. You guys can see that. That's sort of what it looks like without the, like, the, the edges on the outside. So it's like the flower of life, right? Um... And it's like out in the distance, but you're seeing it appear and like being being put together. And it has all those beautiful colors. So the flower of life is powerful. So let's see what your flower of life card is. Healer. Okay. It says, when you awaken to your truth, the feelings um, are so incredible and freeing that you may feel that it is your responsibility to help all feel this good. This is powerful for you, Cancer. To try and awaken others is not the role of a healer. Your job is to feel the best you can in every moment to be in full balance with you. Allow your higher self, the whole universe, to shine through you and inspire others to choose the world, to, the, to choose to see the world differently if they so desire. Whatever they choose to do is up to them. You have the choice to love you and all. Everyone is at a different level of perception and consciousness. Wherever anyone is, is perfect for them in their life in the moment. Let everyone be as they are and just focus on feeling the best you can for right now. No one has to change for you to feel love because you are love. I know it's hard for you to hear, but I need for you to be in this place, Cancer. I need for you to see it. I need for you to understand it because it's very powerful that you really take care of you. That's the first and foremost thing that I can say. You don't take care of you and that is a detriment. It's a detriment because you can't love yourself if you're not taking care of you and then show that to others. And that's what you want to do. That's what you constantly want to do. And I feel you, Cancer, I do, but we need to stop this. Okay, <laughs> check your sun, moon, and rising to get a full picture of what this month has in store for you. If, for some reason, you do not know your sun, or I'm sorry, your rising, or your moon sign, or your sun sign for that matter, uh, we have the link is down below, and it's a free site where you can actually pull up your astrology chart and find out all three of those things. Okay, let's see if there's, what do we got here? Cancer, what do we got? I just couldn't be more happy for you. Okay, so magic popped out for you. It's a 33 card. So this is about you creating your reality the exact way that you want it, Cancer. Like you are the perfect, you're in the perfect place to do it. You don't think that you are, but you are. And then you have the gatherer. So what you're doing in this space, in this moment, is you're recognizing recognizing how important and how amazing your magic is as a healer and your love that you have for other people and how much you care but also in the fact that you have put this circle around you where you are able to pull from all these different facets of life you want to underestimate yourself constantly but that is not the way to to walk you know so many different things. Utilize that to your advantage and create the magic that you want to happen in your life. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Cancer. You have these abilities to do these things, and I would love for you to finally open up and understand the perception of my reality for you. Oh, let's see. Fairies, do you have anything to say to Cancer today? Ah, whom do you need to forgive? Okay, as you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Well, that's nice 
That's something to work on. By the winter time, the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. So there's something beautiful that's coming. It's right around the corner for you. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you are awesome. And that's what the fairies are reminding and telling you, Cancer. Can't be more specific. Whom do you need to forgive? It could be yourself or someone else, but you need to release your old anger and resentment and find that everything just pops up. Winter comes and oh my gosh, everything is worked out and there's magic in the air. Express who you are, be who you are and just be okay with that because that's perfect. It's perfect who you are. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, stop feeling so stressed out. <sighs> I know that everything is now coming to a head, but it's going to be this really beautiful experience because once you have, you're in a place where you know how to forgive and get rid of that anger and finally release in its old anger and resentment, um, you come to a, a place that's so stable and it feels so good. And you're able to finally see like, yes, this is where I wanted to be. This is what felt good. This is what I wanted to do. Don't feel like when you get to this place that, oh my gosh, this isn't what I imagined it to be because that's the best thing about this human experience. You get to continue on and say, yes, this is what I want. Oh, I actually want for this now. Oh, I actually want for this now. Oh, this feels good. And you get to move in those ways. The guides and the angels are looking out for you. They're it's like all heaven above is just pushing you in this direction. And they cannot be more excited and happy for you because you finally realize who you are. <laughs> you got emerald. <laughs> emerald, I love this. Ceremonies and celebrations. This is what we're going to be doing at the end of November, um, or at least in the winter months, whenever your prayers are answered. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. And that's the emerald card. So if you have any green emerald that you're able to wear in the month of November, it would actually behoove you and be great for you. Um, clearing, I think, and also grounding you, putting you back into that more stable feeling place and able to feel the magic again, able to recognize the synchronicities and then able to let go of that old anger and resentment that has just been putting you into this place that does not feel joyous because you know how powerful you are and you know what kind of healer you are and you know you've been doing it for years. So just embrace that. It's beautiful. And it brings meaning and it brings joy and 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 hopefulness to people's lives. And that's what you're here to do. So do it and enjoy it and feel it and be part of it. And that's all I have. That's all I have. Okay, thank you so much for being here, Cancer. I really, really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your month. As always, love your water and love yourself. And I'll see you on the next video. I love you.